what's the current evidence that fish oil supplements do or do not contribute to eye health? Specifically, glaucoma and macular degeneration. Uji asked this because she started supplementing years ago after seeing evidence that it may help with dry eye. So that's a lot. It's a lot, yeah. Uh, and <laughs> the retina of the eye is one of the richest uh, tissues in the body when it comes to DHA levels. Uh, so that's that tipped people off decades ago that there's something about omega-3 in the eye that's important. Obviously, it's there for a reason. You get visual acuity. Um, seems to be a function of how much omega-3 for at least for a few weeks after birth. Macular degeneration, glaucoma uh, are two very different uh, eye conditions. Uh, and there is some evidence that omega-3s can slow the development of macular degeneration and, uh, and glaucoma, intraocular pressure. Um, that, that's been documented. It, it's not been well studied, but uh, to some extent it's been studied and looks favorable. Dry eye has been studied more. Uh, it's easier to do randomized trials on dry eye because it acts quickly. Uh, and there are some very positive uh, omega-3 intervention trials, uh, it, it, but, but there's also mixed data. Uh, there's uh, other studies that uh, one could criticize and have been criticized. No adverse effects, of course, on dry eye, but the anti-inflammatory effect of omega-3 should play a role in improving dry eye symptoms.